you wrote about the increased activity long before. And in fact, if you take a look at GameStop's chart, its stock rally started probably three weeks ago or so. And that's when you started seeing the unusual activity. That's correct. It's, it's difficult to call anything unusual in GameStop options. However, going back about two to three weeks, there was a large amount of very far out of the money call options bought. This started in April 26th into the first week of May. And the strike was centered around the 30 strike. About 70,000 of the May 30 calls traded over the last two to three weeks. And it seemed to really set the groundwork for this move when the time seemed to line up. Hey, David, you talk to a lot of very smart institutional investors. You trade with them, um, and they look at situations like this because, again, they are unusual. When I look out a month, I look at June expiration, I look at the at-the-money straddle that's basically pricing what the expected move is in this stock. It's basically $19. It's 60 percent of the price. What are institutions saying to you when they see this sort of activity, especially given what we know about you know, 2021? It was a fairly short-lived phenomenon. So there's two sides of this. I'm seeing both sides of it. On one hand, traders that think that the stock is detaching from its fundamental value have limits in how they can bet against the stock reverting back lower based on it being too dangerous to sell this, uh, this stock short. So there, there was a huge, uh, uh, there was a large amount of puts traded today, 11 times the normal daily volume traded in puts. So there are people buying puts thinking the stock's going to go lower. However, some of the institution accounts that I speak to Remember, in January 2021, the move had more legs than I think a lot of people realized that once this move happened, thinking about the supply and demand of who's buying the stock, who's selling the stock, it was it didn't revert lower immediately. It, it kept a floor to it. So I did see some players looking to play the stock, saying some more range bound, because as you pointed out, the options are extremely expensive right now. When you take a look at the activity, David, and the activity that we've seen over the past few weeks, is it your view that these are mostly retail traders or were they trades in size, which would indicate institutions? I think I think both, but I think institutions were definitely involved, given the size of what's traded. About two billion of options notional traded today, five billion of stock notional traded, which is large for how GameStop has been trading. But this is still about one tenth of the size that we saw trade in January of 2021. So the size is bigger than just retail playing, but I think institutions have literally seen this movie before and are getting involved in the action as well. David, it's Karen. Thanks for being on. Just looking at the uh, the May 30s that you talked about, so those were 43 cents yesterday and they went out at six and a half or so. So, you know, 15 times your money overnight. Were you able, are you able to see if that's closing, if those are sales to close or what what was the activity in there today it was a lot of obviously a lot of volume a, a lot of volume we won't know if the net impact was opening or closing until tomorrow when the open interest data comes out however looking at this at the volume in the in the may 30s over the last two weeks the open interest grew i believe every day so it seemed like continual buying of the may 30 line today the most active line was the may 34 calls so as the stock went higher, perhaps some of those holders of the long of the May 30 calls were moving higher to the May 34 strike as well.